been labeled as an Apache salesman sometimes. <laughs> so I, I might be a bit biased in that. Um, I don't think there's necessarily a better way or, or worse one. I think, I think you know, it depends on the context and, and where you want to go and what's the, what's the project structure. Um, one thing that's very specific about the Apache way, the Apache Software Foundation, is that everybody contributes as an individual. Companies have no standing in a project. You know, you can't say, I need this in OpenWisp because Adobe need it, needs it. That That's not a valid uh, reason, you know. You have to 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 express that in technical terms. Say, I need, I, I need this feature or this feature because I want to do something with it or explain what I want to do. But you can't say, I need this because Adobe needs it or IBM or anyone. And I, I think that's a, that's a really big difference. And the... It leads, I see in many projects, it leads to, in my opinion, to better modularization because you cannot impose anything. You have to agree on the technical, uh, uh, you know, on the technical plane. And sometimes, or even often, it's impossible. And then you end up uh, fixing that by modular, modularizing, making your software more modular. I think the HTTP server, which is the original project of the Apache Software Foundation, is the best example. It's totally modular. It's a very small core, and everything is a module. My theory is that a big part of that is because, because people couldn't agree. And if you have money in the equation, then you could put more money and say, you know, if if I can, if I can have this feature, I'll give you 10 more millions. And that, that kind of skews the thing. So I think that's a one, one advantage I 